All right, question number four. Again, we're going to find the intercepts and then graph using the intercepts if possible. So what they want you to know here is sometimes you may not be able to graph with the uh, intercepts, so we'll do something different. And when that comes up, we will show you. So for right now, we're going to find the intercepts. So I'm going to find the x, which means y equals 0. And then I'm going to find the y, which means we're going to plug a 0 for x. That's what the main thing you need to remember. The opposite coordinate is going to be zero when you're finding the intercepts. <clears throat> okay, so our equation 5y minus x equals 5. And then um, I'm going to write the equation again on the other side. 5y minus x equals 5. Okay, so what I like to do, <clears throat> whenever you plug in zero, it just pretty much cancels out that term. So if I plugged a zero for y, that term would go away, and this is what I would be left with. Negative x equals five. Um, your variable cannot be negative, so I need to make this positive by multiplying by a negative one or dividing by negative one. When you divide by negative, it just changes the signs, so you get x positive x now equals this will be a now negative 5 so this is the x value the ordered pair will be negative 5 0 okay um, on the y-intercept same idea I will plug a 0 for x so I'll just cover it up so the x term is gone and we're left with 5y equals 5 so I'm gonna start there 5y equals 5 again you isolate your variable, divide by 5 here. So 5 divided by 5 is 1, so you just have 1y, and 5 divided by 5 is 1. So your y value is 1. As an ordered pair, you have the ordered pair 0, 1. All right, so <clears throat> um, we're going to plot these two ordered pairs and then graph our equation. So again, graph, these are linear. You got to click that linear line. And then we're going to go to negative 5, 0. And then we're going to go to 0, 1. 